With only a few months to go, Pillar 2 places new demands on the CFO, finance function, and accounting department. While input from tax specialists will be essential to understand whether top-up taxes apply, finance, including the CFO and accounting, is ultimately responsible for ensuring the process and controls around the estimation exercise are adequate for financial reporting. There is a looming financial reporting deadline for the first quarter of 2024, and it's one of the most important Pillar 2 deadlines facing the accounting and finance teams in affected countries. In the latest findings from PwC's Pulse Survey of Tax Leaders, only 51% say their main focus is assessing the potential impacts Pillar 2 could have on their financial statements and cash flows. The requirements of this deadline cannot be underestimated. There are several key items that require immediate consideration. First, the effective tax rate under Pillar 2 is calculated by jurisdiction, meaning many organizations may find they require financial information on a recurring basis at constituent entity levels, a form that's never been needed before. Second, don't underestimate the transitional safe harbor measures. Make sure you have collected all of the required data. Not all of the data comes from the qualified country by country report. And understand the limits of these measures. For example, local QDMTT estimations may still be required since it forms part of the top-up tax for financial reporting purposes. In this article, my colleague Lucy DeRoche and I further discuss these issues and how organizations can address them. Scroll down to find out more.